Hey, what's up guys, it's Dark Arm Dolson, today doing a Red Dragon Archfiend deck profile. So I'm really excited to do some for you guys because this deck is an extremely powerful deck that summons that Red Dragon Archfiend and all of its awesome forms to help you OTK your opponent. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, your single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're playing three copies of Soul Resonator. Soul Resonator is one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck, because when this card is normal or special summoned, you get to add a level four lower fiend monster from your deck to your hand, which is an awesome effect to instantly add the exact card you need to go full combo with this deck, which is absolutely crazy. We then play two copies of Vision Resonator. Vision Resonator is definitely a two of in the build, because this card is a great extender, and if you have a level 5 or higher dark monster on your side of the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can actually add a spell or trap card that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect to instantly grab Crimson Gaia or even Red Zone directly from your deck to your hand. We then play a single copy of Crimson Resonator. Crimson Resonator is really good as a one in the deck to bring back to your side of the field off your copy of Red Rising Dragon, but you only need a single copy in the deck because it's easily sent to the graveyard off your copy of Bone Archfiend. But this card is a great extender in the deck to be able to summon off your copy of your Red Rising, because if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from the hand, and if the only other card that you control that's a monster is exactly one Dark Dragon Synchro monster, you can special summon up to two Resonator monsters from your hand or deck, except another copy of this card, which is an awesome effect to instantly get you two more tuners on your side of the field to help you go in for some awesome Synchro plays. We then play two copies of Synchron Resonator. Synchron Resonator is definitely a two of the build. As if you control a Synchro monster, you can actually special summon this card from your hand to your side of the field. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target a Resonator monster in your graveyard and add it back to your hand, except another copy of this card, which is a great effect to help you grab the exact card you need out of the grave. We then play a single copy of Uvaloop. Uvaloop is still a great combo piece in the deck, which is why we play this card as a one of in the build. It's still an amazing card to help you synchro summon, and it's just a really good tuner in the deck. We then play two copies of Stone Sweeper. Stone Sweeper is basically the Rota for the deck, and this card is an extremely powerful two of in the build because this card has the ability that you can basically discard this card to add a level three or lower fiend monster that's a tuner from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect to help you search out your copy of your Soul Resonator directly from your deck to your hand. We then play three copies of Bone Arch Fiend. Bone Arch Fiend is definitely a three of in the build, and this card is amazing to be able to search off your copy of your soul resonator as this card helps you go in for your synchro plays because if this card's in the hand or your graveyard you can send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon this card which is a great effect to instantly get this card onto your side of the field this card also has a great ability that you can actually target a face-up monster that you control that has a level and then send a fiend tuner monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard and if you do increase or decrease the level of one monster by level one which is a really interesting effect to basically get your copy of your Soul Resonator on your side of the field, search out your copy of Bone Archfiend, special summon it out to your side of the field, and then send Crimson Resonator to the graveyard to reduce its level to help you go in for a Synchro play, which is amazing to be able to do in this deck, because now you have your copy of your Crimson Resonator in the graveyard that can be brought back to your side of the field off of Red Rising Dragon's effect, which is amazing. And then you can go full combo. I do have combos on the channel for this deck, which you guys should definitely check out. We then play two copies of Red Lotus King. Red Lotus King is an amazing two of in the deck to help you special summon to your side of the field. This is during the main phase, if you control a Fiend Tuner monster or if your opponent controls a special summon monster, you can quick effect special summon this card from the hand. And if this card is special summon, you can inflict 400 points of damage to your opponent for each fire monster that you control with a different name. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, you can send a normal trap from your deck to the graveyard, which is an amazing effect to help you send your copy of Red rain from your deck to the grave so that you can bring it back to your side of the field. 
We then play three copies of Lubellium. The Bestial cards are just so powerful this format that they're definitely cards to play in this deck. And this card is amazing to be able to play in the build. As this card has the ability, if this card's in your hand or graveyard, you can actually treat a level six or higher dark dragon monster to special summon this card. And also send this card from your hand to the graveyard to add a Bestial monster from your deck to your hand. And also while this card's on your side of the field during the main phase, you can actually place a branded continuous spell or trap from your deck face up on your side of the field, which is gonna help you get to your copy of Branded Beast onto your side of the field, and then use your copy of Branded Beast to put your copy of Brand New Regained on your side of the field that you sent to the graveyard off Sonier's effect. We then play a single copy of Magnemut. Magnemut is really good in the deck as a one up to be able to play, as this card is basically a hand trap, and all of your level six bestial monsters actually share a common effect, that you can target a light or a dark monster in either player's graveyard and banish it, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand, and it's a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. But this card's unique ability is if this card is special summon, you can actually activate this effect that during the end phase this turn, you get to add a dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, which is an amazing ability. We can play a single copy of Druid Swarm. Druid Swarm's definitely a one of in the deck to help you spot remove cards off the field. We can play a single copy of Sonier. Sonier helps out a lot in the deck, since this card does touch the graveyard. It helps you send your copy of Branded or Gain to the graveyard, which is a great effect to help you get that card in the graveyard, so you can recover it back out of the graveyard with your copy of Branded Beast during the end phase. We can play a single copy of Baldrake. Baldrake is amazing in the deck as a one of as well, to be able to play just as an additional aim, and it's really good to be able to summon out to your side of the field to deal with extra deck monsters. We can play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's definitely a three on the deck just to stop your opponent from touching the deck. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Called by the Grave. Call of the Grave is definitely a one of the build just to stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. We then play a single copy of Branded Regain. Branded Regain is amazing to be able to work with your bestial monsters, and this card is great because if a light or a dark monster is banished, you can actually target one of those monsters and place that monster on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, draw a card. Also, once per turn, if your opponent normally special summons a monster, you can actually target a bestial monster in your graveyard and just special summon it back to your side of the field, which is insane to get your copies of your bestial monsters on the field because they're 2500 attack point monsters to help you go in for game. We can play three copies of Resonator Call. Resonator Call is definitely a three on the build to help you add your copy of your Soul Resonator directly from your deck to your hand, which is an amazing effect to instantly get that card from your deck to your hand so you can go full combo. We can play three copies of Crimson Gaia. Crimson Gaia is an amazing three on the deck and basically is a rota for the deck with extra effects. So this card has the ability during your main phase, you can add a Red Dragon Archfiend or a card that mentions it from your deck or graveyard to your hand, except another copy of Crimson Gaia. And when your Red Dragon Archfiend declares an attack, you can change all monsters your opponent controls to face down the fence system, basically Book of Eclipsing your opponent's field. And if a monster on the field is destroyed by battle by card effect, you can actually special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend from your graveyard, which is absolutely insane to help you swarm the board with your red dragon arch fiends to go in for game so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, we're going to start with a single copy of Red Rain. Red Rain is definitely a one of the build to work with our copy of Lotus King. And this card is amazing, as if you control a level 8 or higher Synchro monster, you banish all monsters on the field except the monster with the highest level. Also, the remaining face of monsters on the field are unaffected by other card effects except their own until the end of this turn. But the main reason we play this card with your copy of Lotus King to be able to send to the graveyard is because if if a dark dragon singer monster is singer summoned to your side of the field while this card's in the grave, you can add this card back to your hand, which is an insane effect to get this card in circulation to be able to send to the graveyard of Lotus King to help you use it as a board wipe. We can play a single copy of Red Zone. Red Zone is really good as a one of the deck, but you only need a single copy of this card because it is searchable. And it has the effect that when your opponent activates a card effect while you control Red Dragon Archfiend or a single monster that mentions it, you can target a card on the field and destroy it, which is a great effect. Also, you can actually target one of your banished Dark Dragon Singer monsters and special summon it, which is an amazing ability. We then play a single copy of Branded Beast. Branded Beast also lets you pop cards on the field, which is amazing 
amazing, but it also helps you get your copy of Brand to Regain back to your side of the field, because during the end phase, you can actually target a branded continuous spell or trap in your graveyard and place that card in your spell and trap card zone, which is a great effect to help you get your copy of Brand to Regain back on your side of the field that Sawnir sent to the graveyard. We can play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Infinite Impermanence is definitely a three of them build just to stop your opponent's monster effects and also lock down entire columns of spells and traps. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with two copies of Scarred Dragon Archfiend. This card is definitely a two of the build and helps you summon out your copies of Red Dragon Archfiend. This card's name becomes Red Dragon Archfiend while in the field or in the graveyard. And if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend instantly from your extra deck and it is treated as a synchro summon then if this card was sent to the graveyard as a synchro material for a dark dragon synchro monster you can actually destroy all attacks which monsters your opponent controls which is an insane effect to help you otk your opponent we can play two copies of red dragon arch fiend i love that they've made it so that you can actually play the original red dragon arch fiend in the deck through your copies of scarred dragon arch fiend which is absolutely amazing but this card is a great otk piece in the deck and a super nostalgic card Card. You may see a copy of Red Supernova Dragon. This card is our big dragon that gets absolutely massive. It does take three tuners to make this card, which is very easy to do with your copy of Crimson Resonator. But this card is amazing in the deck because it must first be Synchro Summon and gains 500 attack for each tuner in your graveyard. And also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And once per turn, when your opponent's monster effect is activated or when an opponent's monster declares an attack, quick effect, you can activate this effect that you banish this face of card and also banish all other cards your opponent controls and once per turn during your next end phase after this effect was banished or banished by its own effect you get to special summon this banished card which is an insane effect to be able to use this card as a board wipe and it's an absolutely massive boss monster we play a single copy of dispatter this card is a great walking negate to be able to play in the deck and just an awesome combo piece overall one copy of bane bane is really good in the deck as a one up as well as lets you tribute a monster and then target a red dragon archv monster in your graveyard and special summon it this card is a lot of a part of a lot of different combos in the deck and really good to help you swarm the board we then play two copies of Abyss. Abyss is really good because this card is a walking negate and just amazing to be able to summon out to your side of the field because it is a walking negate. One copy of Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. This card is amazing in the build overall as a one-up because it helps you board wipe your opponent's monsters and also does burn damage to your opponent and counts as Red Dragon Archfiend while on the field or in the graveyard. And play a single copy of Dark End Dragon. Dark End Dragon is such an awesome combo piece in the deck because once per turn, you know this card lose exactly 500 attack and defense and then send a monster your opponent controls to the graveyard and it doesn't even target it just sends the monster to the graveyard we might have seen a copy of blade dragon i really like this card as a one of in the build as if this card is singer summon you can actually target a card on the field and destroy it, which is an amazing ability. We can also play three copies of Red Rising Dragon. Red Rising is definitely a three of the build. And this card is an awesome combo piece overall in the in the deck because when this card is synchro sign, you can turn a resonator monster in your graveyard and special summon it, which is usually going to be your copy of Crimson Resonator that you sent to the graveyard off of Bone Archfiend, which is just really important to be able to use in the deck to be able to bring back your copy of your Crimson Resonator off of Red Rising Dragon, so you can bring out two more. More resonators with your copy of your crimson resonator again i do have combos on the channel for this deck which you guys should definitely check out if you want to really learn how to play this deck but this is a really fun deck to be able to play so that's gonna do for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe definitely tell me what you think of this deck down in the comments down below it's such a fun deck to be able to play and it's absolutely amazing to be able to play red dragon arch theme because it's such a powerhouse of a deck so that's gonna do for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe Hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later guys.